At its core, learning is a social experience. During remote instruction, authentic moments of connection can feel few and far between. Yet in order for students to learn, they must feel valued, known, and respected. For adolescents in particular, a sense of belonging can translate into academic success and motivation to succeed, as they manage increasing levels of social and academic pressure. Here are five ways seasoned teachers develop relationships with middle and high school students in a digital classroom. Nothing tells a student that you are invested in them more than a phone call. Even in a five-minute conversation, you can intently listen to the student and get a sense of how they are doing. Ask questions that prompt reflection like, is anything getting in the way of your learning right now? Or, what are you curious about these days? Studies show that strong student-teacher relationships can be critically important to how well students learn. One way to make space for those valuable connections is to set aside time for individual or small group student video conferences. Cross-reference your class roster to make sure you're interacting positively with every student at least once during the semester. Research shows audio and video feedback can have a more profound impact on students than written responses, so consider recording a short clip of guidance or praise on your phone to add to an assignment. That moment of genuine care and connection will go a long way towards building a relationship. Time with students is scarce in distance learning. In the time you do have together, focus on what can't be done asynchronously, discussion, problem solving, and community building. Ideally, your students will come to your live sessions already prepared, and you can use class time to make learning meaningful, collaborative, and stimulating. Students are never too old for show and tell or sharing activities. Help students feel known by allowing them to bring in something that represents them, their culture, or some activity they enjoy doing. Plan five to 10 minutes each day for a few students to share what they brought until you have given everyone in the class the opportunity.